Fahad Kaleem, a comedic content creator based in UAE, who rose to fame with his parody impressions of motivational speakers such as Gary Vee. After seeing his success, Fahad repeated the formula over and over and over again. Become a chair. But by following this repetitive formula, Fahad managed to gain almost a million followers on platforms such as TikTok and giving him the opportunity to work with respected creators such as Mo Vlogs. But beyond content creation, Fahad also established his own successful media company, helping businesses create their own content and gain mainstream popularity. Today, I'll be getting the chance to interview Fahad Kaleem and understand his background in more depth and ask him questions about his businesses, content creation and more. Hi, my name is Mohsin Isar and today we'll be visiting the mind of the TikTok comedian Today I've got a really special guest. Hello. Hi. Welcome to the show. It's an honor. What do you prefer to go by? Name? Fahad. Fahad Kaleem. Fahad. Fahad. Yeah, Fahad's fine. Fahad Kaleem. Fahad, you are a very well-known TikToker, I would like to say in Dubai. Would you consider yourself a well-known TikToker? Well-known guy who creates videos. TikToker is just abused. Abused. Yeah. No, I agree. I agree. So what would you... Consider yourself, Fahad, TikToker, content creator, in the closet, Gary G, Let's a just, chair. You know, um, now that you're asking this, I'm having this existential crisis right now because I all, all of a sudden I don't know who I am. <laughs> but let's stick with creator. Creator. Let's remove content, let's remove chair, Gary G, let's just stick with creator. The one and only. The... Astaghfirullah. No. You've uh, really gotten a bit more successful, I would say, in the past recent days, right? <laughs> a little uh, whip nene. Oh, uh, yeah. you're talking about the Lamborghini? The Lamborghini, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Yeah. And it's really interesting because what color is the Lamborghini? It's either blue or a shade of dark blue or something like that. So rich, we don't even know. Yeah, That's true. Yeah, just... But currently, where are you based currently? Well, uh, Abu Shagara Sharjah is hometown. Hometown, definitely. Yeah, yeah, Shout out to my Abu Shagara yeah, friends. Yeah, Abu Shagara is the place. But so I'm... I guess I got a question for you, Fahad. <laughs> How does it feel to be the Mo Vlogs of Abu Shagara? You know, you're saying Mo Vlogs. Um, I never saw it that way now, now that you put it that way, but... Because uh... personally, I would consider Mo Vlogs to be a state of mind. I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello! I'd consider Mo Vlogs to be a vlogger, literally how it says in his name. Vlogger. Yeah. For... A very good one, would you say? <laughs> hmm. Mm. Of course, he's got 10 million subscribers, so he's done something right, you know? Mm -hmm -hmm. But... Uh... Something right, very good one. Hmm. Definitely nailed it with his uh, audience. He's got kids watching him on his luxury cars and his... Uh, Which is very appropriate with the content he makes usually. Well, uh, there are certain things that aren't appropriate, but you what gotta do what do? you gotta do, right? Mo Vlogs is Mo Vlogs. Yeah. Fahad is Fahad. Fahad is someone bigger than Mo Vlogs. No, I wouldn't Fahad is someone <laughs> who goes beyond TikTok. Because Fahad is someone who owns a business, am I right? Yeah, definitely. Now, Fahad, I did some research, and if I'm not wrong, the business's name is K9 Unit. Yes, K9 Unit. And I love to see that. I love to see young entrepreneurs take endeavors. Slightly weird businesses, but I love to see it, you know? So, Fahad, I just had a question related to your business. Yeah. So, what is the current rate you're selling German Shepherds at right now, and do you give it in a buy one, get one offer or not? Look, uh, I can explain. We don't sell dogs. It has nothing to do with dogs apart from the fact that we consider ourselves dogs. Our moms always called us kutte. Kamine. Kamine. Mm. And then we were like, how can you turn it into a joke and keep it a media company? Because every media company name is like, you know, 
the, XX Media or XX Media. YY Media. media. And I wonder why they named it something under media. Yeah. So I was like, let's get rid of the term media and just at all completely. And let's put something more true to ourselves. A dog. Dogs. And what's the most elite form of dogs? Canine. Canine. You know, they're trained, professional, they get the job done. Mm-hmm. They're, you know, respected amongst their dog community. They're respected among their dog community, yeah. just like you within the more vlogs community, wouldn't you say so yourself, Ad? But what's up with the dog in the logo? Did you think canine was not enough? That you guys needed to put an actual dog in your logo? Because you think people weren't confused enough? Or what we're, is going on with that? We're not the greatest of artists when it comes to, you know, designing mm-hmm. stuff. Clearly. So, as you can see with the logo, but mm-hmm. this mm-hmm. was an intern who we told to come up with the logo and at that time when he showed it to us, we were like, wow, this is probably the best thing. <laughs> can we really blame the intern for what the business owners <laughs> exactly. named the business? That's yeah. true. That's so, true. we're dogs. We're dogs. We're doggy we're dogs. doggy dogs. We're in for, you know. What, what's your favorite dish? <laughs> Biryani. Biryani, yeah. ah, the classic yeah. Pakistani yeah. fan. Yeah. Well, my favorite dish is Putin. Have you ever tried Putin? Putin? <laughs> yeah. No, I haven't. I haven't tried. Putin. You've not tried Putin? Have you never tried putting this dick in your mouth? <laughs> right? You had me. You had, you had you literally me. had me. And you had biryani. <laughs> <laughs> While... But it's good you decided to, you know? <laughs> decided to what? <laughs> Come on, Fahad, even you're better than this. Decided to put this dick in your mouth, Fahad. Oh, wow. Fahad, you as a content creator, like many other content creators, receive a lot of criticism yeah. in various different aspects. Yeah. Oh, that's cringe. Oh, that's not nice. Yeah. Oh, why are you like this? Oh, God, go back to Pakistan. The usual, <laughs> you know. Yeah. But Fahad, have you ever heard of the phrase milking something? Forget heard, I think I lived by it for like at least seven, eight months. Seven, eight months. Yeah, or a year at least. Mm, Self-awareness. I love that about you, Fahad. I really do. So, Fahad, my question, at least I hope it's a question. If your uh, chair humor was a cow and you were the farmer, when did that cow die and why are you still milking her? First of all, that would be a very sad cow because... Mm-hmm, she mm-hmm. would be really abused. Like, yeah, by all these canines, am I right? <laughs> yeah. Um, and to be fair, I've actually stopped milking her. Like after, you know, destroying her to, to an extent where it's, she doesn't look like a cow anymore. <laughs> more, more, of, <laughs> more of a dog, you could say, because, you know, sometimes an abstract illustration of a dog and a cow can be mixed. But uh, I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Become a dog. Fahad, are you aware of what this item is? Actually, I'm not. Some would consider this a female hygiene product. Does that ring a bell? Mm. Fahad, this is what we call a tampon. Oh. Yes, Fahad. Fahad, you have 10 seconds to observe the tampon and then to sell it to me. And might I remind you, I am still Mohsin, a male. Three, two, one, go! You look like you're in a hurry, Mohsin. Uh, are you looking for tampons? <laughs> We've got the one and only tampon that you're looking for. We're out of stock. This is the last one. And... <laughs> There's a worldwide chip shortage and they're not able to produce this stuff anymore. And there's a shipping problem in the Hues Canal. So for us to be able to deliver this to our customers and keep our satisfaction levels high, I saved this tampon knowing that today you'd walk in to buy it. And use it, I shall, Fahad, because that was absolutely brilliant, Fahad. I will be shoving this right up my... I love you, man. I'll be honest. I love you too. I love your work. I love what you're doing here. Enough. Fahad, I wanted to give this moment to talk to you and get advice and motivation from you for other people as well. So I asked your fans to send me in a couple of advice that they want to ask for you. So I call this segment, Fahad. Toodle doodle do. 
Fahad, what do I do? <sighs> Dear Fahad, me and Fatima were making out in the staircase and the watchman caught us. What do I do? Go make out with the watchman immediately. There is no other way out of it because if you don't, he's going to complain to your parents. But if you do, he's going to tell your parents he made out with them? No. He's going to get into trouble for that. That's what I call leveraging. And leveraging it is Fahad. Thank you. I'm sure Asad would be very happy about that. Dear Fahad, Abudi and Masudi just called me to Buhera for Salfa. What do I do? First of all, Salfa isn't your friend. So why would you go there? In life, always put yourself first and other people second. And if your friends have a problem, then they can deal with it. You're not in kindergarten anymore. That's what my teachers told me. Fruitful. Amazing. I'm sure Muhammad will be happy as fuck about that. Fahad. Dear Fahad, I keep getting nightmares of Chris Spray sleeping with my mom. What do I do? Problem is, you're tuned into the wrong radio show. There are so many things you could be doing in that time, like for example, sleeping without your mom in your own bed and avoiding such dreams in the first place. And avoiding he could be. God, I love Chris Fade. Dear Fahad, Zoheb the realtor is trying to sell me a 3 BHK property in downtown Dubai for 3.5 million dirhams with only 10% down payment with a Burj Khalifa view. But I'm 16 years old. What do I do? Listen guys, Zoheb is not a real estate broker. He's a rapper. He just, it's Nav. He came from the UK. And he asked me, he begged me, he wanted to start making real estate videos and we helped him. He's just joking. It's not real. Get it? Real. Tur. It's not real. That the inside joke this whole time. Just watch his videos and ignore him. Dear Fahad, It's been a year, Daddy. I really, really miss you. Mommy says you're safe now in a beautiful place called heaven. What? <laughs> Dear Fahad, I usually shop at day to day, but it's night right now. What do I do? Well, you'll be surprised. There's actually a place called Night to Night. So uh, don't stress it. Just die. It's, it's on Sharjah Dubai Road. You can go there anytime. It's open all night to the next night, you know, skipping the day part. Useful. Dear Fahad, yeah. I just started the biggest media company in Dubai. But everybody thinks we sell dogs. What do I do? Bow wow, wow wow wow. Meow. Bow wow. Fahad, it has been a lovely interview with you. I cannot say how much I appreciate you coming out here, sitting with me, touching my feet, giving me feminine products. It's been lovely. It was lovely having you have me. It was lovely having me have you have me. Let's have each other tonight. We will, Fahad, we will. But before the end of this interview, do you mind if we just do one more thing? I'm all yours. Hey Fahad, what do I do? Life has presented you with an opportunity that you've never seen before. Trust me, Tom and Jerry wasn't created for kids. Just how this wasn't created for you, but today you've got to swallow the spell.